hello, today I'm here with a new video and today we're going to talk about limited edition things and my friends Jessica and uh, Debbie, they did a ranking limited edition palettes I think it was called and I was like, okay, I also want to talk about limited edition and then Angelica Nyqvist did um, 12 limited edition palettes I'm happy I bought I think it was something like that and I was like okay I don't want to rank I just want to talk about some limited edition things and I have two face things and six eyeshadow palettes I want to talk about and I am not going to rank them I'm just going to show you them and talk a little bit about them I usually don't talk about limited edition things on my channel that much because I know how frustrated it can be if you see somebody loving something and then it's just like shit but yeah I'm going to talk about these things and I'm going to start st start I'm going to start to talk about the face things and it actually is two highlighter palettes so the first one is a moonshine by Anastasia Beverly Hills and maybe I should scooch um, yeah, I had the Aurora first and then this was on sale in Sweden when it was going out of stock and it was on sale in like more than half of the price and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. It looks like this. This is a little bit more toned down than the Aurora, I think. I really, really like this. I love this pink heart and Lucky Glover. It is two of my absolute favorite highlighters. I am so happy that I bought this palette. I don't know why Anastasia did discontinue this and I think they've kept the Aurora. I think they would have kept this because this is such a good and fun highlighting palette. And I love the name and I love the packaging of it. I think it's really, really nice. The other highlighter is from Urban Decay and it's the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne highlighting palette. This I also bought when it was going out of stock. That is a really good thing with Sweden because some of these things aren't that popular. So when they're going out of stock, you can often buy them half off or more. I did it with this one as well. It looks like this. This is called Beauty Beam and it's the color in the middle that I love and use pretty often actually and it's just so so good. These are the only highlighting things I've tried from Urban Decay. Really like this. I wish that Urban Decay would still have this. Maybe their other highlighters are as good. I don't know but I'm so happy that I bought this one. And okay, let's go into the eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to start to talk about a pair of eyeshadow that belong together. And I... Okay, we'll just go into it. Uh, it is the Muerte en Vida. Muerte en Vida. Vida en Muerte palettes from Melt. These were their holiday collection last year, but it wasn't like... Christmas holiday. They released this before Christmas and I don't love these palettes but I'm so happy that I have them. So this is the Vita palette. It looks like this. This is absolutely my color story. This green shade is total shit. I, I hate it. The other shades are so good. I really like it. I think it's a really fun color story. And I just love the packaging. The other palette, Muerte, I know that more people love. I like it. This is really unique to my collection. Just because it has like this light light shade here. And it goes from red to green and a little bit of blue and grey. It's a really cool color story. I don't use this that much. I need to use this so much more but I'm so happy that I bought this I think the Vita palette you can still buy at Beauty Bay I think the Muerte is out of stock these were some of the first palettes I bought from Melt it has to be the first two palettes I bought from Melt I like them I am happy I have them I don't love them though 
So we came clean to a palette <laughs> that I really love and it's a palette from Colourpop and I don't know why Colourpop discontinued this palette and it's the Good Sports. Good Sport. I always say Good Sports. This is my favorite palette from Colourpop I think. I've done a Free Looks One palette. It looks like this. The one thing I absolutely love about this palette is Ebb. This is the like the best shade I have in my collection and I really think that this palette is a really fun and unique palette. I didn't like it <laughs> at first when I bought it and I was like okay I'm going to buy it because I was going to order from Colourpop and I was like okay I take the good sport. I'm so happy that I did. I really love it and I'm so sorry for all of you that didn't get this because this is amazing. I I love it. Then a palette that I think I haven't used on my channel. I know I used it when I had my channel in Swedish, but I don't think I've used it when I have done my channel to English. I don't think so. It is from Urban Decay and it is the eyeshadow palette that they did together with Kristen Leanne or one of the eyeshadow palettes. This the same as the highlighter. I bought it half off. I love that. This is the Kaleidoscope Dream. And I can't bend this back. How cute. It looks like this. I love this green shade and I love this orange shade and the gold is really really good. I really like this palette and I... It feels like this was the last fun and unique palette Urban Decay has done. I don't think the Wired palette is that super unique and cool, but I think this is and I'm so happy that I got a hold of this. First I wasn't going to buy it, then I saw, I think it was an Instagram post or something with one people that, with one person that I follow that did swatches and an eye look she had done with this and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. It was half off. I was like, yes, I got it. So. I'm really happy that I have it and it, I don't know it doesn't feel like that many people has this palette or do any of you have it? I think it's so fun and I wish that Urban Decay would do something like this again. Now I have two palettes left and one palette is from a brand that is not longer existing so maybe I could take all of the palettes but I took the palette that was limited edition that I really love from this brand and it is the Paulina palette together with Blush Tribe. I... Oh, it cracked. The lid <laughs> cracked. I love this palette. First of all, I love Paulina. I have been following her for years and years and years and I love this palette. This isn't a typical me palette. The greens maybe yes the purple and the pink no but this palette has something maybe it is because I really love Paulina that I think this is so good but it's such a unique palette and I think it's really fun and I have done Free Looks One palette with it I have done first impression and I have been in a big collab with this it's a really fun palette and this friend shade, I know that a lot of people talk about this that has this palette, it's because it is amazing. So I am so so happy that I got this. When Paulina announced that she was going to do a palette with Blush Tribe, I was like, I'm going to buy it however it look. And then it came out, this came out and I was like, yes, it's something that I want for the color store as well. And the last palette, this palette I really 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 like. I don't use it that much because it doesn't feel like people want to see this. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and it is the Prism palette. This was a holiday collection a lot of years ago. It looks like this. This is like a super grungy, cool Anastasia palette and I don't know why don't they go back to this? Because I really love this. I, first of all, love the packaging. I think it's 
a cool packaging. It's sleek. It's really dirty though. It has like a catcher and stuff. I don't like these velvet palettes, but they look so good. And the colors are just... It's such a fun mix and... I don't know what to say. I just love this palette. And this was... I think the second palette I bought from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think Subculture was the first one, or this was the first one. And I just love it. I love that it has a black background. And it's just such a fun palette. It's so cool, and I think it's really unique, and I'm so, so happy that I have it. Yeah. And that actually was all it feels i don't know like how to end this videos and i have something that is itching on my back so yeah that was all the palettes i want to talk about i really hope you like this and do you want me to use limited edition palettes because i i know how frustrated it can be when you see somebody using a palette and you know that you can't get hold of it Maybe I am going to try to dupe uh, some of these palettes. I don't know. I don't know if duping is my thing. I have done one duping video on Millennial Pinks from Melt. You seem to really like that video and that made me so happy. So maybe I will try to dupe some of these. Let me know if you want me to do that and I will try. I am not going to promise anything, but I will try. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!